Well, six out of every 100 adults will have PTSD in their lifetime. And according to the Department of Veterans Affairs, seven out of every 100 veterans will too. Douglas Braff looks at the illness in light of PTSD Awareness Month. Douglas, good morning. Corey, good morning. PTSD has always been present, whether it was called having a soldier's heart during the Civil War or shell shock during World War One. But the view of the illness has changed over the years. According to Joshua Starks, he joined the Army after 9-11, going on to serve in Afghanistan. When describing PTSD to me, Starks says the survival skills that kept soldiers alive all overseas are the very things that make it hard to adjust back to civilian life. It's those defense mechanisms specifically. Well, he tells me he had a challenge challenging time reintegrating when he got back. He has not suffered through it alone, thankfully. He recalls going to a, a retreat with some Vietnam veterans when one of them approached him. And I asked him, I said, you know, when, we, when I got back, I've, I've had some really severe nightmares about my instances overseas. And I asked him, I said, you, does that, where does that stop at? Like, you've been doing this for 50 years. Like, where does the break come? He says, well, he says there was a World War II vet that told me. He said that there comes a point when you stop trying to save the people that you lost and those dreams become a welcome reminder of an old friend and you spend time and you spend time together in that dream i said when does that happen he says i don't know it hasn't happened for me yet but it gives you enough hope to hold on to he tells me that after years of mistakes, he feels like veterans have more support nowadays. Although he admits that it may not fix everything, he says it at least gets them on the path to recovery. But there are lots of resources out there, from the VA to the 988 Mental Health Helpline. Plus, there's different types of therapy for uh, whichever, whatever fits uh, the veteran best, whether it be group therapy, outdoor therapy, or equine therapy. But he's found a community here at VFW Post 577, where he's the post command telling me that he's seen peer-to-peer -peer counseling have a great impact on those here. Reporting live in Tulsa, Douglas Braff, 2 News, Oklahoma.